So, this is the footage from the team event that happened a um, couple weeks ago. And only now that I am now basically doing my own... Um, basically what really happened in the team event and my thoughts on it exactly. So, we are in this, basically this spawn area where we're basically like a waiting room. And there's a bunch of people joining this event. We have Simple, Kare, Tidorad, iHarbs, Thunderblub, and a bunch more others that are included or are going to be joining us real soon. And as you can see, Derek Cream and Frost, the owners, are trying to get more people to join so that it'll be basically a uh, balance. Our Korean Jesus is also there, as you can see. And PvP was actually on at this time, so there was times when people were just killing people as you've seen and over here in this side you can see that sand is just showing off the new unreleased skin so there was like a gun a rocket launcher some hammers a bunch of different swords they're actually pretty cool and hopefully we'll be releasing real soon and it's basically just a waiting game people are just shoving in um totems and that's pretty much cheating <laughs> that's what people were like calling it the ban hammer and stuff and I think from the grass block that Xanfrost has dropped, I think that was the legendary block that um, yeah, Simple took it. And it's basically the ban hammer, as they've called it. So their last call is being um, put into place and we are just waiting for more people to join in. Just saying if there's going to be more people that are joining, I tried to hit Simple with the ban hammer grass block because he's getting a little bit feisty <laughs> with people in the cube basically reminding myself of the mr beast cube challenge it was really funny as you see there's like some sort of cool uh lance or like looks like a pirate sword as you see there so it looks pretty cool don't know when these stuffs are going to be released but as you can see it's basically a preview of what's to come for bright soul realm so, if you look into the basically the entire arena, as you can see, there's two areas that separated with a lava a wall cascading. So, we really didn't know what was going to happen here. All we know, it was just a team game. And, yeah, I was just waiting for whatever was about to happen. The teams are also about to be uh, placed. And I think the other team was placed. So, now it's me, um, Caricature. Caricature. I was calling him Kare for short, I don't really know the pronunciation, and Tito Red. And there's a bunch of these um, these uh, blocks, or basically places where you have to submit um, Rotten Flesh. And also here we have a weapon chest with iron swords that we basically have stuff to defend ourselves with. So these barrels are basically here to act as shops if you want to buy a certain mob to be spawned in the other team. The goal of this game is basically to farm a lot of rotten flesh from the spawners and basically put them into these barrels and use it as a way to spawn mobs on the other side of the lava wall. Basically sending all these mobs to go ahead and kill the competition. So that's basically the entire premise of this game is to be the last team standing. And by sending all these mobs it could be some sort of a nuisance especially since there really isn't any healing items yet in this round. So, as you can see, Tutor Rad and Kare are basically doing everything. I'm just being a nuisance at this point since I can't really do much. I'm just waiting for moms to spawn, but there really isn't any that are spawning at this moment. So, basically, I'm just roaming around, doing stuff, waiting for any instructions since I was in a VC with all of them. Not even on a team. It's basically all of them were there. So, I was just basically bulling around doing everything and doing everything doing nothing i would say and just saying i'm waiting for people to like farm because i think at this time the farm or uh, the mob farm was terribly slow and we were basically just waiting around that was the entire point it's basically more like a patience test as you can see and i was just here looking at rad hitting him with the ban hammer because he had effects from possibly a god apple or, or normal apple so i was just there hitting him 
just giving him and actually also handed him the ban hammer grass block and he was like curious at first and it says hammer and so it was basically my secret weapon against this ever-growing conflict so the zombie spawner is very slow at first but i don't even know what is going to do with this and just basically waiting on here both of my teammates are basically just all vibing we're all vibing as people are just getting money from the chat games maybe we should have done that in the first place to buy some time there really isn't any mob spawning xanfos just checking about looking around i think it was like uh double different mobs here i think there was a zombie and um uh, um uh, what do you call this a skeleton i think there was also um i think do we call them illagers is it illagers basically those that were in camps those things spawn as well the one with the crossbows i played back for a very long time and i forget what we called them and also uh basically i think there was also ones with the axes i'm not sure i don't know why i don't remember their names something i don't know but i think Kyra also changed his skin to be like that basically holding something in his arms it's kind of funny and there was god apples here at this at some point oh what god happens golden apples regular golden apples and i was like oh i'll take it you know <laughs> no one's gonna know and I, I literally like halved it to them i just gave one of the golden apples basically like don't tell anyone <laughs> and yeah i'm gonna get banned so that's what's gonna happen really and yeah we're basically just here waiting and waiting it's a waiting game at this point seriously doubting if they're ever gonna send a mob our way so we're just here and the zombies are slowly but steadily falling down into the mob farm that they've created i realize now that it's not really one with a spawner but more likely just a normal mob farm where they just wait for the normal spawns to happen and someone just died to a zombie but that's not part of the event i thought it was but it wasn't really so as i can see there there's a bunch of mob spawning wither skeletons are actually spawning now so they've sent a wither skeleton which actually was one of the mobs that were included which is actually a pain in the butt so yeah they're sending skeletons and now there's one of those things and now we gotta kill them we have access so we gotta go ahead and crit them they weren't attacking i got hit once but not really that uh hard so we're just looking around to see what more mobs will they send our way and yeah just playing the waiting game as i suppose and overall i was like thinking about what strategies would we do just in case the lava wall falls because it will fall eventually even inko was doubting or incorrect was doubting what kind of event was this and it was actually a little bit confusing at first but once you get to play it you kind of get what it is it's pretty unique not gonna lie but i don't know it wasn't the thing that i had in mind we'll we'll just go ahead so a skeleton spawns here i get hit once i go ahead and try my melee skills are whack i saw a goddamn wither skeleton hits me with wither i run i pull out of there because i don't know deal with that carry goes there a better shot or better melee uh user than me i am not really good at pvp this is one of the things that uh, really um, informed me because when you're facing people in Java that are playing in uh, PCs versus me, a mobile player that is using a Java import, that is something that won't really help. I tried to eat a potato that didn't really heal my health, so I just throw away the golden apple because I don't want really to be caught cheating. Yeah, so I'm just here with three health no hunger like not full hunger that's why i can't reach in i'm trying to see if a rotten flesh would fall but i think that'll be more useful to spawn mobs than eating for me so i'm just basically waiting and waiting and it's basically do or die at this point i'm not sure if i can really be of any help to my team especially now that i am now in a low health and yeah the owners are basically just watching us go on and on about this and seeing if we would ever be uh 
worthy of the victory that were about to happen. So there is a rotten flesh, and I had two thoughts, but I just had to take it. I just need a full help. I'm sorry, but it had to be done. I just need to get a little bit more region in me because, um, yeah, it didn't really help. So I think I got, oh, there's four health over there. Kairi takes some fall damage, I think. I don't know how that happened, but I think I get to about four health. Four HP. That's still nothing. That's still nothing. I didn't really regen that hard. I don't want to take any more of the Rotten Flesh because, um, you know, it's for them spawning the other mobs there. So I was like basically debating whether or not to take it or not. It's having like basically <laughs> intrusive thoughts are kicking in. So I'm basically just waiting. And this is like, um, I know. I also did this thing where uh, I think they've announced at this point that the walls is about to fall in. So my strategy was basically to hide in this corner and basically act as a lookout for the people that are coming in. And also because I don't really want to be the first person to die yet and if only i could just take that armor and weapon from x caldos outside watching me basically suffer here um yeah i should have did some negotiations right there so anyway the time is just running thin the wall is about to cave down and overall it wasn't looking good at this point i'm not sure how many mobs were being sent uh, Rad is already complaining about having a stomach ache. That wasn't good for our team as well. Korean Jesus on the other side looking at me on, basically saying how I'm not really contributing much to the team. Maybe I'm just AFK at this point, who knows. But it's a little legitimate strategy that I tried to do. And basically waiting on what will actually happen. Like, the walls are about to cave in. Well, not really cave in, but fall. PvP is about to happen. I don't know what to do. And there it goes. The PvP with the wall is actually falling down at this point. And I am now scared shitless. Now, I think someone runs there. Kills our guy. I think T2 Red dies by simple. Caricature also uh, dies. And I also die as well to the hands of iHerbs. Which signifies that we all basically lost the first round of the event i died and go back to my a little home and now i'm back in the event area and we just lost the first round to simple and i harbs and thunderblop two of my friends by the way i have uh, thunderblop and simple and it was just like that i was actually wishing that i would have teamed up with them maybe in a different way i could have won this event but yeah that really didn't happen and apparently there was a thing where if you were teammates with another person because of like the team system you can't really pvp them at all so people were asking people to leave their teams which will come in handy a few times so yeah tito rad dies because uh thunder blob kills him i think tito rad actually didn't die the first time or he might have spawned back then but yep that's when the first team or the other team wins, the wall is up, and we basically fell short. So I wasn't the first person to die. That was a good thing. Although the first person to die was Kari, then followed by me, and then I thought Tito Rad died, but they didn't. So I guess they just gave another chance, and he lost as well. So that was it ready for round one. Um, morale isn't really that high at this point, especially when you have Technoblade running around with two swords trying to murder you. But hey, that's how things happen, you know? Things happen. So we're basically just waiting for round two to begin. And yeah, that's basically all that it is. Um, there's some strategies that might be tweaked. There's some other stuff that you may have done differently. But that just means that we have to go ahead and move on to the next round. The next round for round 2 of this event consists of mainly me trolling the audience and basically looking around this lava wall. I mean, there's gotta be something for me to do outside of just standing around and waiting for absolutely nothing. So, what am I doing here? So, again, 
Kara and Rad are all just basically uh, doing their thing, you know, farming some uh, rotten flesh and basically doing their thing. And I'm just like looking around, seeing if there's any mobs that can spawn, just like the usual. And I get this really good idea. Uh, it will come up in just a second. But as I was always basically looking around, messing with all these my teammates, we really wanted us to try and get a comeback and try and get this thing started. And this is where it actually begins. I see Inko there, you know, cheering me on. And then I see Simple go here and try going near the lava. So I actually get a few hits on him. And in the VC, you know, like, oh, someone hit me. Like, how did that happen? And that is what actually gives an idea for Kyra to actually start it and hit people from the other side of the lava. Because for some reason, lava or like, you can actually do damage. See, Kyra hit someone there as well into the lava. You can actually deal damage while, even if you don't see the person, through lava. That's amazing because, of course, it's basically like uh, water damage, but it's just through uh, lava. So I gave basically our team the advantage it needed, which is basically hitting people. That's why what Kyrie was doing, and now Rad is now doing the farming aspect, while me uh, basically just doing my thing again, roaming around. I still can also see here uh, the for round two they gave us food because it was kind of a rough. Thing for round one without any food all of us are basically in low health so i get hit here actually so they just use my tactic against me call up my boy Kyrie and he goes in and i decide to do a little play of action and basically taunt the enemy team by basically just teabagging this is all i can do basically this is what my life is life is at this point in time so while Kyrie is over there i'm basically becoming his distraction while uh, Kyra is swimming, swimming, swinging his sword. So this is basically what I'm doing. And I think on the other side, they're also doing it as well. So I'm just debugging and debugging while Kyra is just trying to hit people through the lava. So I'm just trying to go ahead and just do a little performance for them. Why not? It's for the content. And I'm just here shaking my butt off. Basically to no one's surprise, no one really cared. <laughs> But it was fun for me. I'm just literally just doing my basic instinct, which is just twerking and twerking and shaking and dancing, if you could call it dancing, in my yellow mat, just going down, spamming the crouch button, which in other times, it's a sign of peace, while in my time, it's just a sign of just straight BMing, while Kyrie just tries to get some strays and just scratches there so that's all i've been doing the entire time and yeah while rad is hard at work who knows how many um stuff we've been selling i think you can see here they might have spawned something on the other side so that might have happened so we're just here teabagging i'm still here teabagging the other watchers or the people that are basically the audience are kind of confused as to why am i literally doing all of this just for nothing really but it's just like i said as i'm going to be saying that i'm asking for me to not be killed or to be hit because i am doing this for content it's basically like a journalist going to an active war zone i'm holding up the white flag it's just for the views just for the content just for fun times so i'm just doing my basic instinct over and over again that is basically all i can do and trying to like sneak up and trying to get some hits but they aren't really uh staying in the lava wall at that time so i was just you know looking around checking the name tag seeing if someone might come close and i could see a couple of here might be going close so i'm just waiting around and i think he also crouches here because um, someone is there, I don't think, up, and then a Vindicator spawns in the back of me. Yes, I remember what they are now, so Vindicator actually hits hard, so I go and kill the Vindicator and the level falls, which means it's time for the fight. I go in, and I go for Blunder, but I didn't hit him because we are in the same team again, so it doesn't take any damage, which is kind of an issue. So, uh, Thunder 
was slain, actually Karika was slain, and Peter read the and just only left with me. So me as the PvP god doesn't do anything, but for some reason they put beds, so they keep on spawning, so there wasn't really a fight in our hands, we were just rolling around in circles. At this point, people were just dropping like flies, like I died to hearts here, but I spawned again in the bed, so round two again, and I was going head to head with uh, Simple was there, I'm just getting hit all this place. And for some reason, I actually survived, but die immediately to Harvs. And we're just keep on fighting, Wither Skeleton spawning. I go in a fight with Simple, I just run away from that immediately. I don't want to wear it. And then I also go to the other team's area and just roam around. And basically there, I was there where Simple's behind me, so he's probably going to go for the hit, but I think he doesn't. And I'm just spawning. They break the bed, which means I am in a rough start, so I have to go ahead and go for the heal. Thunder again tries to hit me, but he can't because we're on the same team. And I can see I Harbs and I just get one or two tap by Simple. Which is the end, I think, of our run. Or my run, rather. So now it's 2-0. Everyone is done. That means that the team of Simple, Thunder, Blob, and I Harbs has won. And we lost to a sweep. Well... That's all there really is. You know, we couldn't pull it back. I guess those they're, they're basically much better at TVP in that moment. But overall, it was a fun experience. Pretty unique for its take. It really puts more of the grinding aspect of the game into the Steam match. It's kind of a fun in a way. So again, congratulations once again to Simple, iHarbs, and Thunderblop. And... A big, big congrats as well to my team. We did the best that we can do. I was basically doing nothing the entire round. I was just working. I tried to get some hits, but my PvP skills weren't really that good. So, overall, we're just here waiting for the announcements. I'm just getting hit all over the place. So, overall, becoming turning to a free fall. And, you know, I'm just going to, nope, yeah, Powder can't hit me because we're on the same team and it's basically <laughs> no PvP, basically. And then Iherb just kills me right there. So, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the prices. After the whole event was said and done, I was given uh, the opportunity for me to be handing out the key store teams. Uh, even though we have lost the event, there was still some... Pretty good prices nonetheless, so they teleported to me here at spawn for me to divvy up the keys as see fit. And to be honest, maybe in this situation, I probably should just give them like the keys and not take some for myself because I didn't really know if I contributed much to this event. But the owner has told me that it was good and that it's only fair for me to divvy up it equally. So that everyone gets their fair share of the prices as it was made to be. So I just did my part and basically get my share of the keys that are given out. And as well as giving out the other set of keys to Kare and Rad. Both that were pretty much the backbone of our team. And has done everything that they can for us to actually try and win. Even though it wasn't that case. It was fun nonetheless, and I really enjoyed my time with the both of them and of this event as well. So, once they're now done, and there you can see there, they're basically dividing it amongst themselves. This event was pretty cool, not gonna lie. I got a bunch of arsenal and armament keys, as well as some event keys and the big keys to boot. It was pretty fun, and it was pretty worth it, despite losing to... The other team made up of Simple and Thunder and Harbs. Overall, was it worth it? Yeah, I could say for sure that it was worth it. And I'm going to be opening them up in just a moment. But then I just realized I want to try something out. Um, I don't really know what made me go into this uh, decision for myself. So I just go back and teleport home. You gotta have a very organized inventory, otherwise, do you even play Minecraft? But then again, I've seen inventories that have very, very cluttered ones, and they are the ones that are the richest because they are just 
huge grinders of the game, which I'm not good for them. Props for them. So, let me go ahead and put all my stuff back and actually go ahead and draw these keys and the arcs that are associated with them. So, I'm back at spawn again. Lots of stuff. As you can see, there's actually a lot of changes that's going to be happening. Uh, even right now as I'm recording, there's a bunch of different changes even at spawn. So we're going to be going through that in future videos. But over here, it's time for me to draw the Adobe keys, event keys first. As they are in this area of the arcs. And Kara just basically just stood in my face. <laughs> so now I'm to open up the event keys. So there we go, event arc over here. During the Taiki lock chant, and we get an Aether voucher for one day. That is pristine. That is a very good use. Second key that I'm opening up, and it's going to be another Aether voucher. I am just lucky with the Aether vouchers. This is very good. And I accidentally click one, so it's now a beacon that I got. I actually have a couple of beacons as well. So Korea Jesus is just uh, astounded, I guess. So time for the newbie arc, and I get a sniffer egg, which is pretty cool. And I got a couple left, I think I got four more, there we go. I got four more left in me. So going ahead and drawing for the second one, that will be a uh, explorer name tag. I actually haven't got this yet, so it's a pretty cool find. So I go ahead and activate it, there we go. And I'm just going to go and do slash tags for me to activate this tag. It's a very cool one, it's going to be rare pretty soon. As I know, so I'm just gonna go slash tags and I'm having difficulty and I'm just, I don't know. I probably just, I'm a little bit confused here. So I think it's just slash tag, just slash tags. There we go, newbie arc. And now when I chat, it should pop up. So I guess my old self didn't see it yet. So join again for newbie arc. I get chat color perk yellow. I think I already have this. So I go ahead and draw for another time, and I get Magic Yolk, that's pretty good, you know, more Magic Yolk is good for the strength. And I think this is the last one, I think, of the newbie arc. And I get a Keep XP Orb, which is pretty much <laughs> just nothing at all, just plain. So that's pretty much it. I go ahead and put all my stuff back, and it was a pretty eventful day, I think that overall the prizes that I got are pretty cool. I'll just have to be rearranging my ender chest since it's pretty cluttered. I really need to fix that. So I still got my armament and of course my um, arsenal keys with me. But I think I decided to open them off camera but I, I did get some pretty pretty cool custom enchants from it. So I guess that would be it for the team event, overall, it was a pretty fun experience. Didn't matter win or lose, it was a fun time. And now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the next video, which is of course, the build competition. Building the Titan from the ground up and seeing if I can win this event and have a better luck than what happened with the team event. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.